getting your children to love reading at an early age. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Lisa Howell. She is the Youth Services Programming Coordinator for the Dauphin County Library System. Thanks so much for being with us. It's great to see you. Thank you. We are talking about an upcoming Book Week celebration, and this is an annual event that really gets kids engaged and excited about early literacy, but it does it in a fun way that involves the whole family. Right. Um, Children's Book Week is an event where uh, the author, this year Matt Novak, comes to visit. Um, he does a presentation, he reads from several of his books, talks about the process of, of writing and illustrating books, and you know the whole family can come out and enjoy that. And this year's book is a really fun one. It's called Mouse TV, mm -hmm. and it really relates to an issue that a lot of parents can understand. Talk to us a little bit about the book. Uh, sure. Um, it's about a mouse family, and it starts out talking about them arguing over what to watch on TV. Every member of the family wants to watch something different. And then one day they lose the remote control to the TV, and so they uh, end up interacting with each other in different ways. So, you know, playing out a mystery or having an adventure together instead of watching it on TV. And in this era of smartphones and tablets and television and devices, many families can really relate to that. That, you know what, let's turn that all off for an evening and just be with each other. Yes. And uh, this is all something that is explored in a really fun way, but in an age-appropriate way through this book as well. Right. Um, lots of really great pictures um, with lots of detail that the kids can pour over, but very simple text that they can easily understand. And this is uh, for children who are preschool age, mm -hmm. primarily? Yes. And this is an annual celebration. Uh, this year is November 2nd through the 9th, and it's made possible through an endowment fund. Right. Uh, Joan Leopold was a board member for the library for many years, and she left us the endowment. Her passion was early literacy and uh, children's books, so she made this possible for us. Now, for this year's event, uh, children families have the opportunity to meet the children's author. His name is Matt Novak, mm -hmm. and he's not only the author, but he's also the illustrator right. of the book as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, in addition to this book, Mouse TV, uh, he is the author of several other children's books? Yes. Yes, and we'll have uh, free copies of Mouse TV for everyone who attends, and also some of his other books will be there for sale, so that, um, if you'd like, you can pick those up as well and have them signed by the author while you're there. And that's a great opportunity to meet the author and illustrator, but also have the book signed, so you have a very special copy. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the times and location. Uh, families can actually register online yes. for these events, but you actually have an additional location this year on Friday, November 7th. Right. Uh, for the past few years, we've had um, the event at Hummelstown and also in Colonial Park, our East Shore Area Library. This year, we've added an event on Friday night in Elizabethville, so we're hoping to reach some of our patrons who are a little bit further north. And on Friday, November 7th at 5.30 p.m., as you mentioned, Elizabethville mm -hmm. Area Library. In addition to that, uh, there's one on November 8th, and then there's an additional event at the East Shore Area Library on November 9th, but you're encouraging people to visit your website to mm -hmm. actually register. Yes, or give us a call. Now, in addition to these book signings and author events, you have some really fun activities craft activities in yep. November. What do they include? Uh, we have a mouse puppet um, that you can make with a uh, tiny paper bag, um, coloring pages. Uh, we have those at the Discovery Station, so you could just come into the library, all the materials are there, pick them up and do them there, do them at home, and then we also have uh, more crafts and activities that will be at the events. So really fun for uh, for children and for families, but it's also a way, just like in the book, to engage with each other and to engage with your kids. Right. And uh, people, as we mentioned, can visit your website for more information or to give you a call to actually register for these events happening uh, November 7th, 8th, and 9th, but then the crafts happen throughout November at the libraries. That's, that's right. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. We've been talking with Lisa Howell of the Dauphin County Library System. I'm Jill Horner.